gonna come in they're holding your breath thinking is there a problem but there is not a problem ah uh -huh, says alan partridge uh -huh, uh -huh, says orson wells uh -huh. we are live here good morning everybody it is march 2nd 2023 in glendale california coming to you live and uh, we are still in the cold snap, ladies and gentlemen. Still, and I know it's all relative. There's people out there in colder parts of the world. I can assure you this. But it has been a wild weather week here in California. Lots of rain, lots of cold, even a little hail, and even a little snow, folks. It's the end times! Maybe not. Maybe not. Joined to my shoulder right, camera left. <laughs> this song's going on so long. DJ Duck Pound! Good morning! Oh yeah, baby. Mm. And on my left camera right, we got Victor Berger the fourth. Let's get cracking. Nah. Producer Matt, we got Wes, we, we got Luke in the control room, we got Sam out there, the intern. Sam, keep an eye on that breaking news. You know I love to know what's going on out there in the great big wild world. And um, on the show today, we've got Ken Marino. You know Ken Marino, he's a legend. He's uh, currently en route. Had to stop to get a little Joe. Oh, 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 oh. Joe. And then later in the broadcast, we have music from local, not local, uh, how should we say this? International. International recording artist, uh, star of his own music, <laughs> <laughs> Andy Schauf. Yeah! He's gonna be doing a kind of a sad, quiet, uh, contemplative, meditative version of Bad to the Bone by George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers. <laughs> How would that go? It'd go like this. Ever since I was born. I've been bad to the bone. I've been bad to the bone. Join us at patreon.com slash office hours live to catch the whole show. If you're watching live, join us for the whole show. And Patreon is a tremendous uh, place for all kinds of goodies. If you've got a day out of the free week, join now. Oh, free week, yeah. yeah. Join now, get a free week, and I'll be sending out. For limited time only, 50 packs of plain Lay's potato chips. The little guys, the little snack packs. 50 packs of Lay's plain, the you know the yellow bag? 
the yellow bag of Lay's. 50 per person or 50 No, no, 50 while, while supplies last. How are your flakes? I'll just be. Oh. <laughs> you sign up now, <laughs> and I get that bag of Lay's out to you. You're going to get laid. <laughs> Fairly average porn movie. Oh, shit. I just got laid. Uh, two weeks from tonight. I'm like uh, getting the feeling. Two of weeks from tonight. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. <gasps> I'm not masturbating. Two weeks from. T <laughs> two weeks from tonight, I'll be in the city of Leeds. The city of Leeds. The city. No. The city of Leeds. No fucking way! No fucking way! Brundell Social Club with. My big Tim, two Tims tour kicking off up there with a very Wally. packed house. Wally. That show's almost sold out. Wally. Then we go on down to Sheffield and Nottingham and Manchester and all over the place, hitting London, Dublin, fucking Oslo, Hawaii. motherfucking <laughs> Copenhagen, <laughs> motherfucking Denmark. Fucking Absolute Amsterdam. <laughs> Fuck it. You fucking cunt! <laughs> We're getting packed. I'm not getting packed yet. You getting packed? I'm thinking about getting Start packed. Getting, right. So we're going for about, it turns out it's like a month. It's longer than I was thinking. Yeah, you know? yeah. So so uh, are you going to pack enough? I, I can't, I'm not going to pack with, without doing laundry. Where are you from? You like know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm, like I'm, I'll have to do laundry. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting Who that out Who wants to do there, my yes. laundry in, let's say, Dublin? Because that's about halfway through. Who wants to come down, fold, do a, a fluff and fold for me? That will get you a bag of Lay's potato chips. So Why don't contact you just me. discard your clothes and get new ones when you're Hell out there? No. Well, I was going to say, do you guys put socks right. and underwear on your rider? That's a move. Oh. It's like a I've been thinking move. about that, but I'm very specific about my socks and underwear, and I don't want to put anybody out. All right. Uh, let's bring in a Zoomer here. Let's kick it off today it. with our old friend Skinner. Skinner! Hello, friend of the show, Skinner here. Uh, one, I forgot one thing, Skinner. I do want to make an announcement that there will be a big announcement later in the show. Okay. All right. Big surprise announcement coming from me. You're going to have to stick around to find out. Fuck around and find out, as the kids say. Right? <laughs> Skinner, what's on your mind? What do you have for us today? Hi, I actually have been working on a stop motion horror fantasy movie that is uh, being funded right now. It's going great. It's on Kickstarter. It must be going great if you're coming on here to promote it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's going great, though. But um, I think that uh, everybody would really love it. You should go to Kickstarter and check out Shrine of Abominations. That's a lot of words. Shrine oh. of Abomination. Vic, spell it. Uh, S-H... R E I N. <laughs> Going the German route. Schrein. Jesus I Christ. Schrein. <laughs> no. I'll put the link in the um it was somewhere on your guys. Yes, stuff. we will promote this because we love Skinner. We love your design. We love your brain. We love your energy. Thank you. Four, I love four, 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 very four, much. Four, Thank four, you for the... your benevolently uh, allowing me to come on this show and talk about my demon art. Of course. Awesome. People love you. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we at on this? Where are we at in the process of this uh, project here? Okay. Well, um, we are uh, uh, actually, it will. Okay. We have Calm down. <laughs> I just like, I got him. I started with a gotcha question, apparently. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. About that. Uh, let yeah. me just. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, actually, we have filmed um, 90% of the 30 to 40 minutes of the film that we have that we're working on. And it is being edited with VFX and sound design right now by an amazing guy named Kevin Fermini. And uh, something that just actually happened was the streaming service Screenbox contacted me to ask me if I could put together a budget to send to them to see if they'll extend it and do an 80 minute long. Hey, yo. Whoa. That so, um, yeah, uh, so the I, thing where they, they uh, knock the meat, the, 
Now you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Listen, we got a lot to get through today. Uh, the, the, the link is in the chat. Let's have the Office Hours family come together. Come together. Fact, What's your role in this, Skinner? Uh, what are you doing? I just want to know what he's doing. What, what, what okay, do you... I, I Go to it, IMDb. I, <laughs> I wrote watch it. his trailer? We got it. his trailer. I've, I've been working. Yeah, the trailer's crazy, right? I wrote that song, by the way, and recorded that. But uh, I uh, wrote it, designed it, worked with my friend Ross. He did most of the stop motion, okay. but I, like, hand-painted all okay. the backgrounds and all the uh, assets to it and stuff. And so it's a very... Passion project. Yes. Okay. You do all a right. play? It's like 30 seconds. Check it out. You want Thank to you very out, much. Guys? All right, Skinner. Oh, I've got back. big news oh, here. Back. I got big news. No, we'll show it during the break. <laughs> all right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I got big Hollywood royalty out there. Hold oh, on, just here. hold the door, hold the door, I'm hold the door. Know. We're going to do it's something nuts. never been done before. And guys, you're going to have to go with me on this. We are going to turn Rosie, the dog, into a man. Oh, we are going to turn Rosie into a man. Can we get a shot of Rosie on the chair? Vic, can you help out here? Yeah. Now, sure, now yeah. Wes. I'll show move on. Be West smart has here. Be, be quick about this. I want everyone on their, their highest level of instinct right now for... for Cinema's sake. Okay. This is, we're gonna do this with my magic. I'm gonna turn Rosie into a man. Ready? Pastaragira maracatale, re chicatane ni toro chata, carre kitatin, dicto nade chipat, riganade, riganadjo, levitanta chatinda! Oh my god! Whoa, the dog is a man! 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 Sir, relax, relax. You are now in you're safe, okay? You are no 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 no. I must turn him into a he's only half man. Hold on. Astare chita bariendo Ken Marino! Ken Marino Chatanda! Hey, hey, there he is. Hey Unbelievable. Look at you. First of all, let me come and give you a hug. Oh. Right. I mean, I don't think I've... I can't really get to you. Oh, I can oh, see. see. I will not be muzzled. Ken like Marino. Uh, Hi, guys. <laughs> what an energy. Wow. We, oh, Where's my coffee? Oh, right here. Okay. Do you need How are you? I are offer... you okay? I'm okay. It, I, let, let's talk about what let's, happened. Let's just get that over. Oh, do you stand the whole I do, time? Yeah. And do you stand like that the whole time? Like this. <laughs> okay. Like a little lady. All right. So, and can I sit? I sit the whole time. You can sit. And he I lords mean, over us. Yeah, it's a little. This is Doug. You know Doug. Hi, Doug. How hey, are you? And this is Vic. I know uh, a Doug, but yeah. not that. <laughs> so you're gonna be quick today, this morning. I feel. You're. All right. <laughs> I mean, I've been driving very fast to get so here. So what happened? All right. Wait, it's probably not the a, introductions. Vic, Vic, Vic and, Berger. Uh, hi, Vic. And this is Matt. Hi, Matt. You've been Howard. emailing with Matt. Matt, Vic, and Doug. There you go. And Tim. And you should talk Tim. Talk Tim. <laughs> um, I here's what I did. So I like to get up early. Me too. If I have something to do. Yeah. You I don't like be to, rushing. I like to get there. I like to take a little extra time, a little buffer. I like to call it. Yeah. And I like to drive. Not. I'm not rushing. This is. I go get a coffee. Yeah. I go find the local coffee place around the address that I was this given, is good. or that I thought I was <laughs> yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah, go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, and basically, what happened is my manager's assistant was like, "Here are the things you have to do today." <laughs> yeah. Well, we all have. I managers. know. I know. We I know. Have. Come on. I'm sorry. And he said, uh, "You have." Uh, Tim today at 9.45, nice. and then you have ADR at 1 oh, you'll be, at you'll... this address. Okay. And when I looked at the text, I saw you have Tim, and then I went right to the bottom, here's the address. So I put the address in. So then, so here, so I go, I'm Where early. are we talking, Nor North Hollywood or? Right by like... Danny Trejo's Donuts. Oh, in Hollywood pr proper. Yes. Like in Hollywood. That's where I was. <laughs> oh, that sucks. And I, and I, right? and uh, it was great. Danny was there. No, he was not. He was <laughs> always there, slinging. handing out donuts, <laughs> slinging donuts to everybody. And so I, I go get a coffee. Yeah. I'm early. Yeah. I'm early. You have nothing to worry about. I had a whole bit uh, that I was going to do about, I always like to be early. Sort of, it's going to be this bit. Yeah, yeah. This is some variation of it. And I get to the, the the studio and I walk in and it's 
I you, know, and I you texted think you're you. at my studio. Yes, and I yeah. think, and I texted you, say, you, would you like some coffee? Yeah, you did. You, no, I said to the guys, this was about a half hour ago or so, uh, I said, listen, this is nice, guys. I, this has almost never happened before. Do you guys want any coffee or anything? I'm stopping to grab a coffee. Yeah. I said, can you believe this mensch? He's a real mensch. <laughs> yeah. So, I, so I'm, I'm walking in. Ding, ding, ding. Ready to have a great... <laughs> I'm early, I might even go to the bathroom, wash my face, because yeah. I get a very shiny T-zone, yeah. see if my hair's okay, because I didn't know. You don't bring a stylist know. with you or anything, I don't, no HMU. Not, not yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah. And so I walk <laughs> in, and this and this pleasant lady at the desk goes, oh, Ken, you're early. Oh. <laughs> and I go, I am. Yeah, yeah. She goes, you're very early. Oh, no. And I go, what do you mean? She goes, you're supposed to be here at one. Ding, ding, and then the heart, then the blood goes like, Yes, Crazy. and uh, and so I was like, "Oh shit!" And then I pulled out my phone, looked, and panic. Um, uh, panic. You could have get. You could have easily. Let me just say, you could have easily said, "Tim, I'm so sorry. I had an incident, and I can't make it." Would that? Would that would have been terrible? It would have been. It would have I been. Would have, I would have felt awful. I always expect the worst. You okay? It's yeah, a little I'm weird. This right? is like, Lou, can we do something? He's no, we're in, good. He's we're in, good. He's we're not good. happy. I'm okay. Please don't uh, come in here. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, so then I t uh, texted you. I mean, this is one of the great Hollywood stories, I think. This me. and the uh, Bob Evans with uh, 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 Jack Nicholson and how they... Oh, Robert Evans. Uh, yeah, Robert yeah, Evans, yeah. yeah. Bob, I thought like Bob, Bob, Bob Evans is the, is the, <laughs> the sausage, sausage guy. Dude, right? yeah. Oh, is Bob Evans the <laughs> breakfast sausage guy? Is he? Are they so. one in the yeah. same? Yeah, he's the sausage guy. Yeah, yeah Wait, but, but he Robert, is Bob is short for Robert, in, in, as far as I know. Wait, is Bob Evans the sausage guy? Yeah, Bob Evans. And then there's Robert Evans. He was also a sausage guy. Yeah, you can say that much. Oh, wait a second. Um, okay. <laughs> so here we are. So here we are. Here we are. I know that. Well, let me just say, I'm with you. I, um, I have tremendous... I, I place punctuality as a very high priority for yes. me. Yes. I don't... I don't. I, first of all, it's a sign of respect. Yes. And which I do. I respect you. I know you and do. And Doug and Vic yeah. and, and Matt. Mark. 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 Matt. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Um, but it's, I, I, it's a sign of respect, and I don't want that stress of being late. I don't want that feeling. I hate it. And, and in California, you don't know what you're getting into as soon as you leave the house. You could be sitting on the, on the 101 or the 10 or whatever. Especially since it rained two days ago, everybody's still freaked out about the rain. Yeah. And so what, you get there early and you sit for 20 minutes and listen to the radio or do some email? Yeah, you know, you got so many things on your phone you can do. I what I like to do is I like to put my phone down and look at the world around me. That's what I like to do. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. You guys are quick with the cues. They're very good. They're top notch. How do you nine. do that? Well, like, we what can... is the, so, like, okay. I'm just, I, I want to, how it, does the sausage get made? You, so Speaking we're of... talking about something. Are you going... Oh yeah, keywords, typing to typing. the keywords yeah. for These the are theme, some trade yeah. secrets. and then you immediately hit the. Well, they've thing? got a soundboard yeah. here with a lot of. They've they've got a big library of stuff, <laughs> but they're also very quick. These are funny people. I don't doubt it. There's two guys back here too. <laughs> two I said they. Up. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I said they. Not not but for your gender. Though, I know pronoun it helps like be quicker. Yeah. But listen, true. you're here. Practice. I'm. I don't. I'm trying to think. The last time I saw you, I'll tell you when. You know this. Yeah, we played tennis. That's true. I called you up. No, I called you up. No, I called you. It was over a year ago, yeah. at least. Maybe pre-pandemic. It might have been. I it all it's all a blur. But um, I hadn't seen you in a long time. Yeah. And then uh, I called you up, sort of out of the, or I texted you, and yeah. I said, "Do you play tennis or something?" And or something. Or maybe you did. Or maybe you did We've, you reach out to me? Yeah. No. You know what you got into that I didn't get into. It's that app that you send messages to people with? Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Yeah. And you would Marco Polo me. Do you know Wait, this app? what? Do you know Marco is Polo? This where you try to figure out where your friend is? No, it's like this like instant video Polo. sharing app. I, some people love it. I, do you still use it? Not really. Not really. But um, for a while I was doing it. Basically, it's like you have a conversation with somebody, uh, you video yourself, and you record your side of the conversation, talk as long as you want or as short as you'd like. Yeah. And then you send it to that person, and then they respond at their leisure. Yeah. And they talk as long as they want, short as they want. They do bits, or they don't do bits. I or... felt like I needed to be more on with you, and I didn't. I was uncomfortable. But replying. the beauty, the beauty of it when I did it was 
that's what that was everybody's first instinct. Yeah. And then there was this like sort of moment where everybody started to just talk to each other. And I found that to be delightful. I, 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 it's a little different, but I like now when people send me audio messages yeah. instead of a text. But they yes. disappear though after a while. They do though, disappear, you know. that's true. You could keep them. You could, you could keep them. Okay, okay. okay. see now this we, is, I got this my, is, I got yeah. negative and positive. They don't disappear in here. I know, they don't. I know. The way my so, brain works though. Uh, lots to get to. I wonder really? if I should- Really? What do we have? Well, I've got a big agenda. We have a musician coming in later, Fantastic. Andy Schauf. Did good. you ask me a question about singing a song? Yeah. I'm happy to do whatever because you'd like. I, I just, I'm just taking in the moment because let me just uh, backstory us. Backstory us for the, we met, um, I'm gonna say nine years, 10 years ago. I think it's 10 years. No. Since uh, I East, went down East to Carolina. North Carolina yeah. to do a little show called Eastbound and Down. Yes. And we, I remember, this, I, I have a terrible memory I know. Sometimes. sometimes like, oh, oh, yes, thank you, Ken. Sometimes you're off the mark. <laughs> oh, just wait. ba 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 All right, now you're back on the mark. They're planting seeds. Well, guess what? When I went off the mark, that got a big laugh. So is it off the mark? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, all right. I don't have a great memory of stuff, but uh, I, I have a very strong memory of getting there. There was a night before uh, the shooting started. There was a little opening night party or whatever, like a party for everybody at this bar. And I got there early because... That's what we do. That's what we do. Out of respect. Get there early. I'm, we want Danny McBride to be like, look at these fucking guys. They're pros. Like, they're early. Yeah, I'm not gonna know my lines, but I am gonna be on time. On time, so you could do bits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Danny a little bit, I did, but I didn't really know anybody else. <clears throat> You're probably in the same boat. Correct. Might, so I get there early, I'm sitting at the bar, you roll in, and I knew you were on the show, and I was a fan. I'm a big fan, you know, big fan of the Let state. And, uh, whatever else you've done. I mean, what, what, what else would I have seen you in at that point 10 I don't years know, ago? IMDb it. Fucking The Ten, which I want to talk to you about. Okay. Great movie. I'm here. Yeah, and, we can uh, talk about anything. Yeah. And uh, Wet Hot, all that. So I go, I, oh, I hope this that. guy's all right. You know, I, you yeah. don't want to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope this guy's all right. You know, yeah. we always feel that way. You're of like, course. what is this? Maybe this guy's a prick. Because you do play a prick. I do a play a, a right. prick on TV. So you come in, sit down, we kind of, you know, feel each other out a little bit. Little bit. You get a, we get a little thing going. And then I say, my wife is pregnant. The city of the day. What? That's him. That's insane. That was him. <laughs> that was an accident. I was <laughs> plugging in my computer. My wife is pregnant. It's hard, <laughs> city of, it's hard to know what's, re, what's an accident. What's a, but you said, uh, and it was, it, was, it was like, it was news. It was like, in my, that, you know, like what's going on? What's new? You yeah. have kids, whatever. Like, oh, my wife's actually pregnant. Uh, we're going to have a baby. And you, you said, <laughs> you said, you that's great. Know. Whatever, you know, that's terrific. Congratulations. But you said, you're always going to worry about them. Yeah. It's fucked with me forever. You yeah, are, but, yeah, no, but I true. Think, no, it's a beautiful thing. But what I, but but I, I, I think, um, I probably talked about because this is how I feel about children. And you have kids. I have two kids. Uh, that the joy you feel when you have a child yes. is so unbelievable that you that that you feel like you can float off into yes. space because you just feel yes. so euphoric and and, and uh, happy yeah. and joyful. But the thing that tethers you to the ground, yes. the thing that keeps you from floating off into space with happiness and joy is the fear, fear. and the concern and the um, want for their safety yes. and their well-being. And it's your responsibility. And it's your responsibility. And so uh, sorry, but I sorry no, I fucked you up with no, that. No, no, it, it is. It was <laughs> profound, it, and it and it ex, it explained to me my own feelings at the time and continues to. But so it was beautiful. You're getting a little sick of this already. I no, feel. I love it. Okay, it was one of the happiest, go lucky babies I ever saw in my life. <laughs> All right, now I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so then we got to know each other, and then what happened on that show was, you know, we, you and I were both in like one or two scenes per episode. Right. They're shooting a full episode about every six, you know, six days to shoot an episode. 
So there's a lot of downtime for both of us. A lot of DT. And we're staying at this hotel on the beach in North Carolina, and it's the summer, and what are we going to do? We're going to go to the fucking beach. Go to the beach. Go to lunch. Go to lunch. Go to the beach. Go fishing. I think we went fishing. Yeah, we went I fishing. So and you know, ideas. we did quite a bit. Cornhole. Cornhole. Cornhole became my passion. We played cornhole and a lot. It went so far as at there, after the show, I feel like there was serious n d discussions yep. <clears throat> and meeting, not meetings so much, but emails, emails to... Perhaps pitch a, what was it called? Celebrity. Cornholing with the stars. Cornholing with the stars. <laughs> Cornholing with the stars. Yeah. And we thought it would be a tremendous show. We thought it would be great. We would have all our friends. Yeah. We would take it seriously. We would, we would be the color commentators for it. Yeah. And there I would think be now, a prize. I th wasn't last, isn't last year, didn't they do like the uh, pickleball Star with the stars or something? I think. I don't know. Paul Shear might have oh, been. Oh, they did, a, they did yeah. a charity event. I don't know if it was televised. Okay. Um, but this, but our idea, if I remember correctly, and I stand by it, yeah, is uh, would be a, a weekly, uh, you know, or a, you know, a, or now with the uh, with the TV is ten episodes, yeah, of uh, of uh, 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 intense competition of cornholing mm -hmm. uh, with a prize at the end, and uh, and and uh, you know, jo jokes I mean, in jokes included. These are not. We're not breaking new ground here in a way where no. this is a format that has worked and stood the test of time. Test of time. <laughs> uh, would Wouldn't you, you guys be partners that? in the cornhole? Come again? You would be partners? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe we would. Peas. Isn't it a team <laughs> game where you, you play with? Yeah. Partners? You can, yeah, it would be doubles. Yes, doubles. Um, sometimes no we'd have singles depending on uh, what celebrities we had on the show, yeah. you know? Oh. Like if you had, like, I don't know, I'm just going to throw this out, Pitt and Clooney. You just want them against head to head. Oh, definitely. You don't need, you don't need yeah. any sidekicks for that. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a one That's a grudge match. And uh, Gosling. Who? Leonardo and Gosling. Leonardo and Gosling. What about Will Smith versus Chris Rock? Wow. Whoa. No, you want them as partners <laughs> ah. to see what kind of tension happens. That's true. I love that. Hey, guys. It's Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Renner versus the and, pl snow plow. No. And, mm. and, uh, That's not nice. Oh, I was Ooh, thinking the guy from Entourage, Jeremy Piven. Yeah, Jeremy. Oh, Piven. maybe everybody is first name connected. Like you have there to pair with go. a first name. There you go. Ken Marino with Ken Jong. That would Ken, be delightful. Doctor Ken. Uh, uh, Victor uh, Berger with Vi uh, Vic. Vic Tayback. Uh, Vic Tayback. <laughs> yeah. Vic <Tabak. laughs> Doug Lusenhop with Doug March from Built to Spill. I'm, I'm into cool. that. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let me do this. That we have Tim a, Heidecker with Tim and Eric from the Tim and Eric. Or, <laughs> or Tim <laughs> Allen. Oh, he's delightful. My friend saw who who saw uh, somebody in my band saw Tim Allen Tim Allen at the Ralphs. <laughs> <laughs> what was he getting? Did your band member you say what he was getting? No. <laughs> what? I th I think who's the most uh, famous person you've seen at a supermarket? Uh, the most well, um. <gasps> Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> oh, well, she's famous, yeah. Yeah. I, I saw, ran into her. I only ask because I have somebody better. Uh, okay. That's the only reason I ask. That's the only you. reason you ask. <laughs> I'm not better. Too, what do you think? You want like, to close interested it. in where, who you saw? No, of course not. What, that's not this format. Sit down. Are you sitting? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me stand up so I can sit. <laughs> 1996. I'm out here interning in college. Go to the Ralphs in North Hollywood. Right. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tim Allen. No. <laughs> Jennifer Cool. Bob Hope. Oh, wow. Uh, what was he getting? <clears throat> milk. Uh, he was old. He looked like a ghost. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just hobbling along. The power. Dead within a year, I think. Was he by himself? Was it, do you think it had anything to do with you meeting him? It might, <laughs> it might not have been him. I don't I mean, It might, it might have just been, been a very old man. That no, happened, I think it was That Bob happened Hope. with, uh, what's his name? Andrew uh, Breitbart. When you met him. I did. I met Andrew Breitbart, and he died within a week. Yeah. Had a heart attack. Shit. When yeah. Mr. Hope now here I am. bought his thing to this day, <laughs> hey, Hope, here's change. <laughs> and then Obama heard that, and he's like, <laughs> Oh, Obama was with him? <laughs> Open change. Look. Obama look. was in there, too? And you're now saying look. Bob Hope was more famous than, well, I guess, <laughs> no, Obama? At the time, At I didn't know time. who yeah. Obama was. He could have been it's there. Very. <clears throat> Let's take a call. You know we have calls. Uh, We're live. Uh. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if Julian. Oh, Julian. Lennon. I'll get that. 
Julian, are you still available? Don't answer it. Okay, yeah. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Julian. Yes. Stop walking oh, cool. around. I'm getting oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Uh, first time caller, long time listener. Uh, yeah, so I'm just at school right now. I'm a kindergarten teacher, so I don't have a lot of time. But uh, first of all, big fan of uh, everybody here. I'm also a big Andy Shaw fan. I don't know if he's there yet, but uh, he's I was warming up hoping... in the guest house. Cool. That's awesome. So I was just hoping uh, to get some of your input because I've in some ways kind of like fashioned my program at school a little bit after this very show. And I was wondering if there's anything, I know a few people here have kids like that you wish that your kindergarten teachers, uh, I don't know, did with with your kids, stuff that you, you know, would like to to hear your kids talk about. I'm not really about. involved in that kind of stuff, but Ken, do you have any <laughs> my children are My children are 15 and 13 at this point. I've forgotten all the kindergarten uh, things that I may want them to learn. But as long as you're loving and open and take care of them and support them in their creative uh, uh, desires and don't judge them, that's what I would say. Yeah, it should be very bare minimum stuff at that age. I mean, where, like, what, like, what are some of the things you do? Well, I was going to say uh, every day we do like a sight word of the day that they learn. Oh, and that's so, similar to our city of the day, which we'll mm-hmm. get to soon. Well, we sing. I mean, I do the city of the day song, but with sight word of the day. Whoa. Um, that's cute. Yeah. So I don't know if I owe royalty. Can so I ask I a, a question? Um, isn't it rare for <laughs> is it rare for a male to be a uh, kindergarten teacher? I mean, that's kind of inappropriate. I really am. Not pleased with that. What the hell are we going to do without men? Well, I will say maybe yes it's not no. what you yeah. imagine in your head, but I, I, I'm happy no. to see it. I, I had a friend no. that was a kindergarten I teacher think it's, said it's very rare and they loved it. I mean, it's all it's all teaching in general, I think, is. You know what I like to do? Yeah, okay. I like to uh, scribble. I always like to do this with my kids when they were kindergarten. I guess I'm age. canceled for that question. Scribble, <laughs> scribble on a page. A lot of everybody scribbles, and then you find uh, you find the art uh, work. Uh, you find some sort of image in it, and then you build off of that. Oh, that's yeah, a great that's awesome. idea. That's yeah. free, is that yeah. called free drawing? Maybe I don't know yeah, what it's I called. I think it is. It's, well, I'm gonna call it free drawing. Well, can I just? This is a nice thing. Doug, you're fine. I'm just don't worry. He's getting uptight now. You it's okay, problem. Doug. It's fine. I, I think I thought you know it's time to retire anyway. No, no. <laughs> I I had the same thought, and I I, I regulated it. I it is it, rare, though. It, it is. It is. Un, it is not the norm. How do you like being like a kindergarten teacher, that, man? Oh, I love it. I, it's like my calling. Yeah, that's great. That's all. I How used much? to. I used to do music, but um, I kind of fell into kindergarten during COVID when everything was getting shuffled up here. I, I'm up in Canada, in Toronto, and um, yeah, and I, I had, like wasn't excited to do kindergarten, and then it just turned out to be the best. So uh, it's great. Well, that's let me. Awesome. Let, this is a perfect segue into me telling <clears> you this. This little thing that happened yesterday. I went to my ki- my son Charlie is in kindergarten. Um, I have two yeah. kids now, I, th- and I said to Ma- to Ken that Ken- I sent him a picture of me and Millie at the Ant Man premiere that you were also at. That we didn't say hello to each other, uh, but uh, I said, Ken, look, this is uh, this is my girl. You knew you only knew her as a fetus. Epic. Because um, remember when Marilyn was down there, she I was do. like this. I do. But uh, so I went to the school yesterday to read for the kindergarten class. I did a little parent reading morning. What book did you read? Uh, Charlie and Mouse Oh, is the name it, of the book. How did it work out? Well, what it was, was good. It, what it was, was actually not about? Charlie's kindergarten class. It was the other class, because they split, there was a long story, but um, this one kid, the the there's always like one. Really, really wet. This one kid kept bugging me, he kept going, can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And after the second time, you realize that whatever he was gonna tell you is not Something you needed to know. No, no, you just needed to get it out. Yeah, yeah. First one was, can I tell you something? It was this shirt was from my neighbor. Oh well, that's okay, but that's yeah. good information. <laughs> yes. Second, to, can I tell you something? Was uh, uh, these shoes uh, uh, are new? I had other shoes like this, but they were a different the color. Fuck <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Then, can I tell you something? Uh, my birthday is uh, August twelfth. You know. uh-huh. All right. All right. Can I we get back to the man. story? You know, he's, got one he's more right in the front, Heidecker. but Mr. this was Heidecker. the kicker. Mr. Heidecker. <laughs> What's that? Mr. Heidecker. <laughs> this is, uh, <laughs> this is the kicker. The, this was the last one. <laughs> it's more like that. Mr. Uh, he goes, yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. What is it? He goes, uh, when my dad gets a beard, 
He shaves. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> a little passive aggressive. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Asshole. Um, wait, uh, sir, whose name I'm forgetting? Julian. Julian. Uh, what do yeah. you do when a kid does that? How do you handle that? Like with the non sequiturs or the. Yeah, you know, with a kid who just questions. like won't shut up. Uh, I mean, in general, I, I let them talk for a bit because uh, I think it's important that, you know, they're heard. But um, yeah, if they keep on going, we just, I don't know. I, I guess I have like an arsenal of, you know, soft ways to kind of move on to other other kids. Now, what do what, you would, do be, the, what um... would be one of those things in your arsenal? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm trying to, th I'm on the spot. Um, maybe I'd be like... Uh, I think we'd just be like, oh, that, that's really neat. But I think that, you know, like this other kid has something to say. Somebody else might yeah. want to share. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys yeah. do dunce yeah. caps? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you should start doing dunce caps. Yeah. Do you guys do you guys want to see the activity I've got set up for uh, yes, this afternoon? Of course. It's super quick. I've got nothing else. Okay, That'd so be a good product. I, dunce I'm really proud of this. We, we read a book uh, earlier this week about a wolf that eats uh, like a duck and a mouse Jeez. and at first they're really upset because they got eaten but they realize that life is pretty sick in the belly of the wolf because they can like bake and have these feasts together and they like play music so i took that we did a, like a journal entry on monday some math on tuesday but today's like the big one i'm just gonna grab it one sec wait um uh, wait but that's not true we made, no <laughs> we made like <laughs> once the once the wolf, wolf eats the duck and the yeah and the rat or whatever it is yeah they, they don't have, have they, they, they don't hang out like it's not like a house okay <laughs> in the belly <laughs> it's mean? Not like, a house, of the be like a house belly Join house them. it's not oh, i'm sorry go ahead let's see what you got okay so we made like um these wolves and it says on the front i don't know if you can read it but it says if i was in a wolf's belly i would right because the, Be the digested the by the stomach acid that they like to do but obviously the kids they all like different things so then what happens is you can open it right and it's going to have a picture of what they would be doing on the inside yeah and then they're going to fill out this little card here where they're going to write what they did so yeah. it kind of pulls in like some art some writing i'm pretty pleased with that i think that's it, uh, cute yeah. do, do any of them well. just anyone write digest <laughs> <laughs> i think that's great uh, i hope right, julian i hope love it I hope Th one of thanks them. Thanks so much, guys. I won't. I won't keep you any longer. I know. Yeah, this isn't the uh, Terry Gross uh, Fresh Air interview <laughs> with Julian from Toronto. You know what I mean? We're not... Well, I appreciate. it. I'm a big fan. So, thanks, Julian. I don't thank think you for your like service. That. Yeah, and I don't think yeah, it's no too problem. early to say I love you. Oh, Whoa! Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I love you guys too. I love. I love you guys too. Oh, that's very sweet. What a whole wholesome show. I, yeah, I really wholesome. Here. Uh, Matt, I guess we should do the city then. City of the day. Oh boy, Ken, stand by for this. Uh, City of the Day is brought to you by the Clam Kerchief. Let's face it, pulling a slimy, snot-filled handkerchief out of your pocket every time you blow your nose is nasty. Now there's the Clam Kerchief, the only kerchief that's shaped like a clam. Brilliant. Now, no, now no one will think you're doing anything <laughs> gross. They'll think you're smelling a clam. <laughs> <laughs> The coolest part, when you blow your nose, you're the first guest to laugh at a, at a fake commercial. <laughs> it's good for you. Uh, they think you're smelling a clam. It happens a lot. Oh, he's it not blowing his nose. All the time. He's, he's just smelling a clam. It's the coolest ca part, when you blow your nose in a clam kerchief, it will make a beautiful sound that will delight everyone with, within clam shot. Okay. I don't know about Here's, that. <laughs> goes downhill from here. Here's what the clam kerchief sounds like when you blow. <laughs> the clam kerchief sounds great, I guess, but that's not all. If <laughs> also keeps your mucus nicely contained in a clam, and you can use the shell to pinch off your nostrils and keep your nose looking clean and empty. If anyone asks what's in that clam, <laughs> you, can show, <laughs> you can show them the inside, and they won't even know it's boogers. They'll think it's. Clam goo. So order your clam kerchief today by going to blow.clam slash pinch. <laughs> Office hours listeners get a free clam caddy when they use the word slime. Clam kerchief also available at <laughs> <laughs> also available at Dipstick's Booger Shed. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> No, but you guys all keep on listening to Wait, Wait, Don't Pound. Wait, 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 wait.
That's what you want. You don't want booger jokes? That's your show for Saturday morning. All right, Matt, who is the city of the day? Andre hey, Marks. I, got, I gave you most of that one. <laughs> hey. It's a whole family. The city of the day is Fukuoka, Japan. Whoa! Inter- we have not had one American caller today, and I love it. What are you guys doing over there in Japan? USA! Enjoying the weather. All right. It's Can so you zoom out a little bit? Let's see the whole family. We just see the a beautiful baby. baby. There you go. America's DNA. What a beautiful family. What do you do out there in Japan? I teach English. Is your wife Japanese? Yeah. Yeah, she is. You met her there? Yep. And you're just ingratiating yourself into the into the <laughs> culture and the country. Uh, yeah, that's nice. It's way better than America. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. I, would agree I would agree with that. Have you been to Japan, Ken? Uh, three or four times. Yeah. Come on. Oh, wait, is your wife? She's half Japanese. half Japanese. You know, folks, the phone lines are open to patriots only. Yeah, just yeah. enjoy enjoy nature. And Ringo Starr. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's not worried. You know not what that is? That's Japanese. Apple. Politics. Ringo is Apple in Japan. In Japanese. Uh, Ringo Starr. So you have the, the cherry blossoms will be in a couple of weeks. Now, where in the country oh, yeah. is where? What city are you in? Fukuoka is like the southern island. Amazing. So, have you ever been there? I have not. No, I've never been. I expect you to give me a VIP tour when I arrive. Whenever I arrive. In, 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 in Japan, is it custom to, <clears throat> when you're on the phone, to just uh, show your knee and your baby? <laughs> That's how they communicate. <laughs> All right, we get it. You have a baby. So what? <laughs> it's a beautiful baby. Yeah. What's the name? Oh, his name's Sega. Sega. Beautiful. Are you... Uh, Star River. Like are you uh, respected and... Uh, uh, you know, appreciated by the locals, or are you seen as a as a weird outsider? No, everyone's really friendly here. Andre, oh, tell tell us what time it is there. That might explain some of this demeanor. Now, oh, it's three in the morning now. What's going on? What do you? What baby doesn't oh, the sleep? Baby's up. Baby's up. Wow. He sleeps during the day. He's two months. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> It's never too early to sleep. What a wholesome That's show it is I today. Know, what is really? this? Got no negativity at all. Uh, all right. Well, I love, uh, in some ways, it's so neat that we can just immediately connect with Japan. Are his eyes, right? Do his eyes connect with you? Or are they still like like wobbly? Oh, yeah. They're connecting? Okay. Looks right at you and smiles. Nice. And laughs. All right. Well, there it is. There Does he know any good jokes? <laughs> um. All right, what did Smash Mouth's tour bus <laughs> say to the Mini Crew, the the Mini Cooper? What did Smash Mouth's tour what bus? What did Smash Mouth's tour bus say, say to, to the, the Mini, Mini Cooper? Cooper? Well, it's got to be something about All Star. I don't get. I don't know. I don't have it. Hey, now you're a small car. <laughs> <laughs> you feed us lies from the tablecloth. <laughs> Perfect. Great joke. Um, I don't know if it's public. Is is it public that Neil Hamburger is playing Japan? I think so. Okay. Dale. I think so. But it it, it's in Tokyo, so I don't know if that's... Com- is it easy to get around Japan? Can you just pop up to Tokyo when you want? Yeah, it'd be like a two-hour flight to Tokyo. Sweet. Good day, mate. Yeah, you're on an island. You're on a... You're, you're, right? Is that it's what you all said? connected by trains, but... Yeah. Does your wife think that joke was funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, all the best to you. You have any questions for Ken Marino, star of Party Down, now airing on Stars? My guess is no. How about how about uh, your baby? Does your wife have any questions for me about Party Down? No. Okay. Questions. We have we have some Marino. Where where can we see it? Where can we see it? Let's get a Marino header. Thank you guys. All the best. Stars. Goodbye. It was great seeing you. How do you say goodbye in uh, Japanese? Um, Sayonara. Sayonara. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take a Marino head. Yeah, Eric, Eric, right? Eric Peterson, you had some uh, questions for Ken? Oh, yeah, well, I guess... <laughs> <laughs> Easy. 
Went from positive to negative. What happened? He's got a bone to pick with you, it sounds like. <laughs> What's up, dude? You ready to throw down? I'm, I'm just surprised um, that I'm getting picked on again. Anyways, uh, Ken, um, I'm excited to check out Party Down, the new season. I am curious about <laughs> Burning Love. Yes. Oh, like, it's right. Burning <laughs> Love was so good. Show that I don't think a lot of people know about, and, and it's really brilliant. Don't you love when there... people tell you that? <laughs> I love when people tell me that, that some of the work, the, a lot of the work I do, nobody has ever seen. <laughs> or that my friends hate it, but I love it. That's another good one. <laughs> no, but, I, but you're saying some very nice things about Burning Love, and I will say to you this, uh, and, and, I'm, and you dropped out, but you're asking where people can see it? Is that what you're saying? Was that what you're asking? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, I... We can get to that. Plug it. Uh, I just have it on DVD. I don't know where you can watch where it. Where did otherwise. that air originally? Was that an online thing? It was originally on Yahoo. Yahoo. <clears throat> it was a Yahoo uh, uh, event. Event thing. <laughs> we did three seasons of it. Yeah. Um, for Yahoo, mm -hmm. and uh, it was before all you know. You streaming. can do streaming and yeah. all that stuff. And it was a show that Erica, my wife, yeah. uh, wrote. And we produced together, and I. You're directed. one of these guys that doesn't wear a ring, by the way. I lost it. Because I was worried. I did see a picture of you, and I. And I lost I it. Because I, I, I met your wife. She's beautiful. She and lost hers. We lost ours. Hers was stolen. Mine was lo lost. I take it off all the time for parts. Sure. And so at some point I lost it, and um, we're like, do we get new ones? It's a waste. I, I, I don't even like wearing a ring. Yeah, I'm not a ring guy, too. That's I do the oh, same thing. I, I can't. It's you tough. see a lot of presidents. Obama didn't wear yeah, a ring. Yeah, yeah. Trump don't Mr. wear T, a ring. Mr. T, yeah. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's too bad. Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> burning, burning love is, uh, thank you for saying nice things about it. I'm glad you own it. Yeah. And I guess, well, my question was, um, with Party Down having a new season, is there any possibility of another burning love season? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I can't imagine, um, uh, but I guess nothing's impossible. Nothing's actively being developed yeah, in that. No, no, nothing's part. actively uh, being developed. No. And there's also nobody's actively trying to block us from doing it. So no. anything can happen. But you might have done what you wanted to do with that show. I will, I will say this. That was many years ago. If yeah. we were to do it with the same group of people, it just wouldn't be the right, uh, oh. it, wouldn't be, it would be something different. So then it would have to be new people, and uh, I don't know if I'm interested in doing we that. We all right can now. grow and we all can learn. Sometimes enough is enough of something. You don't since, have to. Since keep... we're doing praise, can I say how yeah. much uh, say. the guy who dips his balls in things is, <laughs> means so much to me for real? Like, like growing up, like all my buddies. Is that the state? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like meant so much. Like just like I was just like like one of the first things that like turned me on to humor. So. May I ask yeah. a question about that? Because yeah. that's a sort of a controversial uh -huh. uh, or character or it's sort of, th there's there's several things going on. Uh -huh. There are people who love it just because it's a recurring it's, character. Yeah. And there are people who love it or like, there are people who like it because it's, it's, a contra uh, it's a, just a recurring character. And there are people who like it because it is commenting on recurring characters in sort of a, Fuck you, right, too. Exactly. Can I uh, curse right. on this show? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Feel <laughs> yeah, free. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Motherfucker. Just <laughs> all of um, That's it, though. Uh, and so what, when you were watching it growing up, mm -hmm. uh, what did you respond to? I just thought it was absurd that everyone is like, they love this guy, how cool he is. It is like, it's like a, it's like I the duck. Fonzie comes in kind of thing. It's yeah. like making fun. You, know, you already understood And, and it had nothing trope. sexual about it or whatever. The balls things are, yeah, yeah it's just a trope. Yeah. I, was I like it. That, like those first ninth, things when you grade. realize like, oh, all this shit that I have been watching yeah. is shit. And now this, and you, somebody's turned it. you on to the, to like somebody's put focus on that and said like, <laughs> yeah, we're making fun of that stuff. Right. Yeah. And, and then you go like, everything oh, I could have this other thing. Right. Right. Yeah, you're looking at Saved by the Bell or whatever else around that time. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, and it's just so absurd There's that you have these balls and you're going <laughs> to, yeah, I'll, yeah, nah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not to swear, whatever. Just well, play Nick, it up. How, yeah. You guys were so, <laughs> thank you. You guys were so yeah. fucking young making that yeah. shit. Was we were, that? we were 20, I guess I was about 22 in, in that picture right there. I'm probably about 21 or two. Oh my God. Did you feel oh, ready for that? Days. Um, you you were. There it is. Oh, there it is. Look at you, <laughs> big little baby. Um, you still look great though. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Are you hitting on me? I'd do you easy. I would do you <laughs> easy. I mean, you, uh, um, hey, we shouldn't uh, talk about some of those nights in North Carolina, by the way. 
<laughs> Those um, were wild. Kicking wild, out the wild. fam, chipping balls. Um, what, uh, how young was I? Was we, were we ready for it? I don't know. At that point, um, hmm. we were, we thought we, you know, we were young, uh, arrogant uh, yeah. kids who were in this group of 11 people. Yeah. So we all just kind of protected each other, protected each other and talked each other, like talked our group up. So we thought we, our shit didn't stink. And we were like, yeah. we deserve anything if we work hard enough, for yeah. it. And so, which is ridiculous to think. But like, um, so at the time we didn't think twice about like, we weren't like, aren't we, I can't believe we have the show. Right. We were like, yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> is the, this is the next step. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, get, we get a show right, right out of college on MTV. It was I ridiculous. don't see it happening anymore. Like the young, like young somebody that age, like getting getting a big show like that. Not even a big show, but like a, a place to play. Like I mean, there's those uh, the three guys who do the oh uh, the uh, SNL the shorts. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. are young guys, yeah, and they true. Were, they were doing stuff on. Uh, what they made a movie TikTok with Judd Apatow. They did. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Wow, that's awesome. They're um, very funny. Yeah, very funny. Uh, congratulations to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Yes, you got the Ken one. Marino stamp of approval. Woo, 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 woo. I'm keeping the trains on time here. Um, I don't think they're ready. They're not ready. What do you mean? Sam's getting them now. Oh, okay. We're but waiting. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah just do live drops. <laughs> Get that song going though. Laugh it up. We're, We're waiting. waiting. <coughs> oh, here he comes. I see them now. I have, just, just, uh, I have a, a, a view into the. Look into my eyes. Don't forget, to stick around. So your your thing's at one. No, no, no. What time am I supposed your to? Your VO. Oh, don't worry about that. Okay, but you'll I mean, be done here at noon, and that gives you plenty of time. Yeah. So you're fine. hanging out. You're going to listen to beautiful Andy Schauf. Yes. And we're going to take a five minute break, and then come back. We're going to talk to Andy. We're going to talk to you some more. I have a big announcement. <laughs> Oh my Holy god. Shit. You almost crushed the dog. <laughs> oh my god. So those wow. seats are great. These are wonderful. Oh are my you okay, god. I'm falling and I can't get up. It was I'm just only doing a matter of time. We're keeping the show going. Yeah, yeah, going. Yeah, I get it. I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Andy Schauf, ladies Jeez. and gentlemen. Let me get this. Watch this. I'm like David Letterman here. All right. I didn't know that happened. Hi, how are you? Andy Schauf's new <laughs> album, <laughs> Norm. It's not named after Norm Macdonald, is it? A really little bit. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm totally fine. Because sometimes you I played football a long time. I know, that's but nothing. sometimes you have a fall and you feel okay for a second because you're in shock. Oh yeah, yeah no, that's I'm you, so used to it. It's fun, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my god, Doug's going crazy on this. <laughs> but can we change the energy in this room dramatically? Yeah, really. Because Andy's here. And uh, you missed it. Vic just tumbled just off went, his hey, weird chair. Did you see it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm all good. Was it on camera? Did we get that's, it on camera? That's West? the main thing. We want to West, did we get it I'll on camera? I'll do it again soon. Don't worry. Okay, no. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. <laughs> is the name of the album Norm? Yeah. Is there? A, here's a question. Is there a song called Norm on the record? There is. Okay, so it's one of those deals. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it short for normal? Or is it, or is it short for... Or is it somebody's Norman. name? It was <laughs> someone's name. Mm-hmm. But originally, it was going to be just short for normal. So, but not Norm McDonald. So both. Both. Because he is Canadian. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Saskatchewan, Canada. And you you just drove down here for this? No, no. He's on tour. <laughs> <laughs> he's on tour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what song are you going to be doing? Norm. <gasps> okay. Do you have any other songs, or is it just all Norm? Every That's song terrible. is called Norm. Andy, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm a big fan. Your music is beautiful. You're not familiar with it, because I know you. That's correct. You're a dad rock guy, and so am I. But you have to open your mind up. I open my mind to everything. <laughs> I'm open to everything, and I can't wait to hear you play. And then I'm on my drive to my ADR, I'm going to listen to all of the album. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, performing the song Norm from his album Norm, Andy Schauf. Side. 
With heavy eyelids and the price is right Breathes inward and drifts on out Losing the edges, winning the prizes And when the television's silent I speak into his dream Stormy's wicked ways And I will lead you to the promised land Clutching the sofa, eyes open wide Is someone in here? He asks so loud Sits up straight, turns the TV down And looking all around him He hears it once again Stalk these wicked ways And I will lead you to the promised land Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. That was great. Gorgeous song. What a voice. Thank what you. A, what beautiful iterations of chords. Yeah. Gorgeous it's song. Gorgeous. It's, it's a really classic. Good. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to take a great. quick five. Right, Matt? Because we got yeah. so much more to do. Yeah. So we're much no more to do. We're going to take a quick five. Be back in five with Ken Marino, Andy Schauf, Doug Vick, and the rest. I can't wait to... Ooh. Go ahead. Oh, I can't wait to hear more. Fascinating. Yeah. I like having fun. Cause I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like to laugh. I like to meet people and people who laugh. Welcome to Office Hours Live. Gonna have the best time of our silly little life.